way off my head is all in this game. Um, it, yeah, it, it's dark and creepy in here. That's kind of just let me not move. Um, so, basically, I made a little sticky note, but now I can't see it because, you know, ambience is clearly more important than me being able to read what I'm going to tell you. Um, so, I know by now, those of you that are on Pocket Charm know what the hell I'm doing every single day on here. Uh, for the ones that I actually post on YouTube. Um, but, uh, so basically, I'm doing uh, Prayer and Kojua twice a day, actually. I record some of them. I'm trying to get in the habit of recording all of them. Morning ones, um, which is when I'm really first waking up and not uh, YouTube appropriate. I'm too sexy for YouTube at that time. So those are going on many vids. Um, if you are too young to understand what many vids is, you wait till you're older and then you'll understand. By then, that website might be gone though, but who knows, maybe it'll be thriving, that'd be nice. I hope it's still thriving. Um, and uh, so basically, this uh, prayer and kojuo, which is a dance that is Mi'kmaq, that um, it's an ancestral dance that goes back thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon, I can keep going like that, years. Uh, and it's one of the many things with me being Mi'kmaq, I, I do to help maintain something that nearly went extinct and still is basically endangered, uh, which is our ways. And it's, it's a celebration dance, and it's my way of celebrating still being alive, which I'm turning 37 in a month and being non-binary, trans, two-spirit, blow-in, Mi'kmaq, and disabled and all that stuff and still being alive, like, there's been, it's been way too close more times than I can count. So, I celebrate it now because it gets me through my day. And I do it twice because it at least takes twice a day, typically, for me to do this, for me to get through my day and not succumb to the madness and depression and rage that is white supremacies hold on this country. Um, so, I'm going to keep trying to post it every day on here. Uh, on YouTube, I'll be catching up with basically how I go about posting. My goal in the long run is to be able to live stream it, and my goal is to be able to live stream it additionally because we are going to be on the move soon enough because we're going to be going to bus life, which is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. And with what I'm doing with my record label and my artwork and what I do in general as a blow and it's my job to heal and help others resist anywhere that I am. And so having it in one central spot currently with the state of things in this country is just not a good idea to me. So I'd like to spread it out and, you know, be empowering more marginalized folk, be they... POC, indigenous, trans, queer, you name it, like, because we all got to be working together now, don't we? We've all seen what happens when we don't. So, for those of you that have gotten repeatedly squicked anytime I've brought up things like being against white supremacy or anything like that, and are like, oh my god, you hate white people. Firstly, my, uh, and I don't feel like I should even go into this, but I'm going to very briefly, because it's good for you. My hubby of 11 years is white. Obviously, a good chunk of my family is white, because <laughs> look how light I am. So, um, so no, you're silly. My whole thing is that white supremacy, which is where white people are better and more important than everybody, per the rule of white supremacy, fucks up everybody else, including white people. And eventually white people are going to rise up to that, but they're not going to if people like me aren't, you know, doing what we're meant to do and being what we're meant to be. So on that note, I'm now going to get rolling. Uh, if and so you'll also probably see we changed up the whole room because that's going to keep happening as we move around eventually who knows or not who knows eventually there will be woods behind me eventually this will be in the bus life eventually this will be in front of the water eventually this will be everywhere because that's how I want it and that's what's going to happen because trans folk manifest best we have to make ourselves don't we
moment. Money banks push time with Holly Bean, the sheep push shoot from Holly Bean with Alice and Mutt, the sheep push shoot Money Bean. You can't look at the whole thing. I'm messing up already. It was January, Tabuista, Tabuista, and I was still very much okay with ending white supremacy today. We probably could use another fight. I am not kidney. I am not meant to be today. I am meant to write all those tackles, see this life cycle's happening, and change is revolutionary. So I'm meant to be free. See if I go for the photos of me, and I go around this free. So I'm just going to be free. Trying to balance it all. It's all the fun. So additionally, the reason I do this is because mistakes are good. They happen. It's how we learn. Twisted on tequila, peyote, and stars in her eyes into her knockoff Navajo throat, she cries, Why'd the Indians have to die? Well, you see, kids, way back in 1492, Columbus tore into a country of Indians with his dogs and crew, and 527 fucking years later, this shit is still true. You're all on the Kahami. But you can't understand, I'm sorry, you can't stand to hear that American economy feeds on Indian land, maintaining places like Indian Head, where I know that my ancestors ended up dead. She won't, she won't look me in the eyes, we won't twist it on tequila and pale. Why'd all the Indians have to die?
forward to our little leave out uh, hell in the Hamptons jingle so yeah basically moving forward I'm gonna be trying to do better about getting not getting in my own way and just rolling with it and that's been scary because you know being all this is scary like I am probably only still alive right now because most people tell me I'm scary. And I had to become that way because of the society we live in. We'll be hearing more about that in the here. Because the whole thing is, I'm determined to change that so we can all have nice, you know, happy lives. Wouldn't we all like that? We would, right? So stay tuned. Um, you can find out more about what's going on here on EatonSkyHouse.com, also LaRougeSublette.com, which is opening game-wise shortly. What does that mean? You're going to find out. Um, if you liked what you saw, then tap the, that subscribe button. Sorry, you should tap the like button as well. And then if you really like what you saw, oh, this has to get paused because this is not allowed to be heard by the public yet. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> I have, I have recordings or upcoming stuff playing in the background. You can't hear that yet. Um, so if you like what you saw, you know, tap the like button because you got my consent. And if you 
really liked what you saw, then you should slap the subscribe button because you have my consent. And um, you should also ring my bell because I'd like that. <laughs> and then feel free to pass me around because I like to be shared. And once again, you have my consent. So why wouldn't you? Um, I'll be doing another one of these in the morning, another one of those tomorrow, and blah, blah, blah. And we'll eventually catch up with ourselves. If you got questions, hit me up. Like, I'm not going to bite your head off despite how I look. Unless you ask me to, and then that's up for discussion. And consent. No multis. <laughs>